Is this thing on? Yes, it is. To everyone who's watching this in the future, thank you so much for watching. Sorry you couldn't be here. I do these every Thursday night, Thursday night Pacific time around 6 p.m. And I'm going to try to do one on weekends, um, Saturday or Sunday, sometime early afternoon. Now, I haven't really settled on a time for the weekend stream, but that way we can get one in two different time zones, two days of the week. Today we're tracking drums on a song. If you want to go ahead and skip, fast forward about two or three minutes. Um, I'm not going to start. I'm going to let people come in. We'll say hi and hang out for a few minutes. So fast forward just a couple of minutes if you're watching this in the future. And if you're showing up right now, hi, I'm glad you're here. I just need to post about this on my Instagram. And I need to ask my wife to bring me up shoes. Can you bring me my can you bring me my red vans? Hold on. Vans. Shit. They're not vans, they're converse. Uh, okay. Just a moment. Let me get situated here. I want the chat on this side. Y'all got anything? Hey, welcome everybody. I'm glad you're here. We're just getting started. I'm checking all of my angles and everything to make sure we're good. Do me a favor, say hi. Tell me where you're from. Check, check. Hey. All right, drum kit's coming through. Here's my voice. One, two, three. Yeah, that's good. Uh, we're going to give everyone just a second to roll in here, and then we'll get started. In the meantime... We'll try doing that for the time being. Sorry. I haven't done a proper drum session yet. So as you can see, I don't really know where I'm trying to keep all my stuff over here. But I've got the stream deck that I need to control the angles with. And then, oh, darling, can you bring those in for just a second? Just toss them to me. Yeah, thank you. She doesn't want to be on camera. I don't blame her. I don't want to be on camera either. Who wants to look at this mug? Uh, I don't know why. I just feel like it's easier to play drums than shoes, even though I practice barefoot most of the time. Hey, glad you guys are here. <laughs> We're getting the stream started off to a nice, nice start. Okay, just making sure. Here's the track. This is the song I'm recording today. It is a bit slow. I, at the moment, I think I've got it clocked at 125. Well, actually, we can look at it. What is it? 125 beats per minute. I, I might speed it up a little bit. It's still in the demoing stages, but um, I don't know. I, I, I think this is a comfortable tempo that I can record it at. I'm recording everything as MIDI. This is the Roland VAD. Uh, I don't remember exactly which model it is. And we're actually going to be triggering these sounds over here. Let me turn off my overhead just for a second. I'll show you guys what's going on under the hood, and then we'll get to work. I'm um, using Steven Slate drums, version 4, actually. And the preset I'm using is, uh, well, I'm using a preset, I think number 10, from the CLA expansion pack. This is just my go-to drum sounds. We might not keep it for this song. Who knows? We might change it, but for the time being, this is what we're doing. All right. Everything is, as you can see, I've got it on this microphone stand here that's nice and wobbly, so hopefully that'll do the trick for now. Cool. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. As you guys are rolling in, say hi. Do me a favor. Tell me where you're from. I'm going to piece this together because I'm not a drummer. I've played with a lot of good drummers, though, so I've got... Pretty much what I want to do right now is not drop my sticks. What I want to do is just capture, uh, I'll take it section by section. I know what the grooves are going to be. I know where the hits are. I know what the kick patterns are supposed to be because I've kind of, in my mind, played the bass part to it. I haven't recorded the bass. I'm going to do drums first. So really today is just to kind of get all those sections down, just grab, record all of my ideas, 
And then really it's the transition fills uh, that it, it's not gonna take me the longest to execute, but I might have to spend some time trying out ideas and coming up with different things. Because again, I'm not, not an accomplished drummer. That's not my thing. Hey, welcome everyone. I'm glad you're here. Welcome to the stream. I've got to do one thing before I can press record here. Hold on, there is my face. All right, uh, I've got to delete all of this. I did a scratch recording of the drums when I scratched out the song. So we have uh, acoustic guitar, a vocal that is mostly la di da di da's and uh, kind of a chorus, but not really. And there's a bass part, I think, for like the first 20 seconds, and then it turns off because that's all I recorded. So chat, do me a favor as I'm playing this. I'll do the first section uh, really quickly, and then let me know if, um, if if the mix is okay, if my voice is way too loud, if the drums are killing you, if the track is killing you, the click, anything like that, because I don't really know. I can't hear you. Oh, goodness. What did I just do? All right, let me just play through it one time real quick, and then we'll uh, we'll start recording, I think. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Let me just listen back and see how that sounded. All right, I need to lay back a little bit. I'm definitely Russian, but we'll get there. My first time playing drums today. Everything's looking good in the meters, uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and roll with it. But if you guys can't hear it or if it's distorting or crazy stuff, please let me know in the chat, and I'll fix it. I'm going to leave it on this screen for the most part, but if you guys want to see anything on the screen, again, just let me know. Actually, I might have to start here. Yeah, I'm going to start here just for the time being so I can keep an eye on the recording screen. All right, let me get the microphone out of the way. Hey, check one, two. All right, let's do it. Recording. All right, that wasn't bad. I do want, um, actually, hold on, let me listen back to that. All right, so I'm gonna do that again because I put that fill in the middle. I actually want that fill to go at the end and lead us into the verse because that's my, my intro fill as well. So uh, I'm going to track that one more time and just not do anything in the middle. And I'm just going to do a simple fill. Something like that. All right, let's redo it. Uh, okay, one more time. Here we go.
right, not bad, not bad for a first playthrough. Um, okay, so let's head back over here. This is what I just recorded. Verse 2, I know I definitely want to repunch. Uh, the bridge, I definitely want to repunch. And that outro, again, like I kind of know roughly what the ideas are supposed to be, but I'm, I'm still working through all of them. So let me just listen down through the top, from the top. Uh, first of all, hold on. Let me see if I can change this so that I'm not seeing the entire piano roll. Mm. No. It's okay. We'll just we'll go nice and ugly like this. I have uh, my computer is in another room down the hall. We have a two room setup now. So here I am in the drum room. I don't have any of the cameras on in the other room, so I can't show them to you. But hey, I'm over here. There's a little bit of latency, and the TV, as you can see, is pretty far from me. So uh, this is the first time doing a drum session where I'm in this room and nobody's in that room running, steering the ship. So uh, I'm flying, uh, not blind, but a with a little bit of difficulty this morning. So that's okay. Also, I'm not going to worry about quantizing or any of that stuff. It is MIDI, so I can do that later. But today, uh, I'm really focused on parts. Just parts, transitions, that kind of stuff. Okay, that actually wasn't bad. Uh, the hi-hats were supposed to be more open, but I can, again, change those wherever they are. Are they you? No. All right, so the same intro fill is what leads us into the verse. I'm actually going to change that slightly. Almost the same. It'll start the same, but it'll be a little bit longer. So if I delete all of this. All right. So now I just need to... Do a quick punch. And for those of you who are watching, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Enjoy. We're having fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. The microphone off. Some mist triggers are in there. Ah, uh, this must be touching the ride symbol somehow. Or ha, the uh, the it's mapped right here. The uh, floor tom rim is triggering the ride for some reason. So I got to make sure I hit the center. Or I can lower this a little bit, make it less likely that I will hit it. Again, I'm not a drummer, so I have to cheat a little bit. What I mean, this is the stuff that's going to take a little while. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Let's take a listen. I think that was it. Yeah, I can work with that. Didn't realize. 
glad they didn't have to click on either. Instead of that, now we'll just go simple because we already did like two, two of those kinds of things. So let's see what we can come up with. Back to this angle. that I want to redo. Let's take a listen from here. Yeah. How does that go? How does that go? Similar to the intro fill, we're going to do kind of a, 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 ver a similar variation on all of it. Don't hit the 
downbeat. That's what I wanted. Except the fill sucked. One more time. So the timing's not perfect, but again, I'll go back and quantize all of this. And then probably uh, I, I won't quantize and, and like snap the all the other elements to the grid. Um, it's usually the way I like to do it is get like a perfect drum track, record everything to that, and me then maybe even at the end, have a real drummer record it and not quantize anything at all. And then uh, it's, it's really, really glued nicely. Let me take a listen to the uh, chorus, first chorus. <laughs> So I just want to get that transition again. This is the reason why I'll tell people I'm not a drummer. I hire drummers because a drummer should be able to do this stuff pretty much like, you know, consistently. I got the ideas. I know what I want to hear. I just can't, you know, execute it every time. All right. So this one will be... Yeah, we'll keep it on the snare, maybe. Let me uh, play around with a couple of ideas here. For everyone who just joined, welcome. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Say hi. do that or bring the intro fill back in. I've got a little bit longer. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do right there. Let me uh, lay that down really quick, make sure I know where I'm at. Remember this, I want to redo all of this shit. <laughs>
to this little interview. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just gonna play that section for I don't know till something till something pops. It's got to be close enough to the intro and the verse and everything I've done before, but I don't want to be doing the same fills and the same tricks every time. And I don't have many tricks, <laughs> so I got to be careful. Here we go. I forgot I was on the wrong angle. Assuming you press record. Now, simple or fill. Almost. Almost. Let me check. Yeah, we're good. So I'm thinking on changing the kick pattern instead of dun, 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 dun. instead of one one two uh, starting on the downbeat. I think I'm gonna flip flop it because uh, the vocal I'm realizing now is dun, 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 dun. if my, if I end up writing my lyrics and I stick with that melody dun, 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 dun. right putting the two after it I'm already done singing. Whereas if I put it before. Dun, 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 bum, bum, bum. All right, so that'll follow the vocal melody better, and then I can straighten it out the second half. So maybe it'll be something, maybe it'll be something like this. Uh, well, shit, let me delete the verse first. <laughs> up until the re intro the chorus and yeah let me just get rid of that downbeat okay so i think what i'll do is something like something shit so if it's four times on the third one out I'll do that. Maybe that'll give me uh, a, a little bit of flexibility. I don't know. Let's see.
Okay. Uh, 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 and I'll play something off of the uh, those off beats. So, yeah, I can change the kick pattern later. Again, it's MIDI, but I think that's what I, I, I ended up different from what I said, but it'll be one, two, three, four. So the fourth one, I'll make it different. Okay, let me just play with this really quickly and then I'll track it. Actually, let me back it up so that I know where I am. That'll be some something like that filter. Yeah, let me take a listen, see how we did. funny like i can do this on bass i can play it one time press record and then i'll get it as soon as i start playing drums i forget exactly what i was just doing <laughs> what 
I hit the record button. Hold on. <laughs> I hate saying that, by the way. Alright, and then I just want a big... Because we got a little 2-4 bar there, so... Let's crack that chorus again. Let's also press save. That's a good idea. Shorter, I forgot. It's a shorter, shorter fill. Alright, that's how short it is. So instead of doing bam 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 and just doing the little fill at the end, I'm gonna one two three fill through it a little bit more. Okay, let's track that chorus. <laughs> I forgot, uh, I'm gonna redo the bridge also. Hold on. Or am I redoing the bridge? Shit, I just dropped my sticks. Let me listen to uh, the bridge really fast. <laughs> Let all that come back. I got my chorus, I got my solo. Now let's get the bridge. I don't think I'm gonna go to the floor, Tom. I think I'm gonna go to the ride, uh, the bell to ride. But still keep the Beatles doing, doing, ga, ga, doing, doing, go, doing, 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 ga, ga, doing, ga, doing, ga, doing, I think that's gonna end up being the syncopation. So let me uh, delete this section. <laughs> All the way up to here. 
Let me take a listen. Hey, welcome everyone who's just joining us. I'm recording drums on a song that has yet to be released because I'm still recording it. Say hi. <laughs> to work through this part. like the second half. It's gonna end. I just need to get. No. Almost. We're getting there. there I'm getting it I promise I promise every single time it's getting closer and closer to what I want it to sound like that's what I want Listen back on that. So now we're ready to tackle the ending outro. Let me listen to what happens when I come back in.
I remembered I already wanted to redo the outro. Okay. Um, so this has just got to be like all the all the other parts, uh, just kind of the next level of them. So here we go. Let's press record. Put a little three over it. One note too many. I know the outro isn't what I wanted, but let me see if I got that uh, transition. Good enough for now. Okay, so I was just turning down uh, that acoustic because it's really throwing me off <laughs> as if that's my problem. Uh, the fill was decent. I'm going to keep it and, you know, adjust it. I'm going to redo this bar to the end, I think. Yeah. I think that's what I want. Just a moment. I again, not selling out.
Okay, so I'm going to borrow some of the bridge. That's that's what I want to do. I want to borrow some of the bridge. Goon, goon, got, got. Goon, 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 got. I'm going to borrow some of that, but make it heavier. So instead of going to the... I think I'm going to hit the microphone. I think I'm going to kind of just crash it out. I just kind of do a bunch of fills and nonsense at the end. All right, uh, let me just make sure I know where I am. So let me get my fill for this. outro that I want but it's pretty close and I might even be able to just add some some kicks to it to fix it let me take a listen yeah good enough I still think I'm going to redo it. Just the outro bridge. All right, so. Let me just play around for a second. I definitely like the uh, the those two hits at the end. That's a that's a nice touch. Almost. Let me let me back it up a little bit more so I can get more of a lead into it. And I'm just going to play the outro, and then we're done. Woo! Hey, not bad for my first drum session, y'all. I'm proud of myself. Almost.
my hands. Okay. Screwed up on one thing. Let's see if it's bad. Nice. Yeah. All right, so the last two I just got to punch, punch up. Just the last two bars. This is why it's cool doing MIDI. It's a lot easier than recording with microphones. wasn't my ending fill either. I might have to punch the last bar, but let's see. That's much better. I'll fix that. That's good enough. It's good enough. 
Uh, I- I'm going to, again, come in here and, and quantize, MIDI fix it. I'm not a drummer. I have no shame. That's, that's all good here. But, um, again, this process is kind of important to me. I, want, I always want uh, the music to have a natural feel. Even though we're going to use technology to make it perfect and robotize it, that's okay. My starting point, I always want to be what would a human do? What, what can my hands physically accomplish? And Hands and feet. And then I'll go back and, you know, fix it, brush it up record everything else to it, but I won't touch those instruments. I won't auto-tune or quantize the drums, the bass, the vocals, any of that stuff. But if, I'm sorry, I said drums, guitars, bass, keys, any of those things. But if these are super solid, everything else will just lay on top. Let's take a listen from the beginning, and uh, this is everything I recorded just now. I'm going to pull back the, the, the guitars and the vocals just a little bit so we can really focus on the drums. But uh, this is what we did. ideas for backing vocals too. One chord there too. Thing. I've got some uh, some nuances to fix uh, in the drumming because of my drumming is muy no bueno. <laughs> I'm just not a great drummer, but I did my best. Y'all, thank you so much for being here. Again, for those of you watching this in the future, I'm sorry you missed it. I do this Thursday nights and sometime in the uh, weekend, early afternoon. We'll, we'll, we'll dial in a time later. But I'll be doing gear reviews, uh, unboxings and explorations and recording sessions just like this. All the equipment I use today, it's right over here. This Roland V kit's fantastic. We got some DW pedals, 
uh, Steven Slate Software. It's all really good stuff. Thank you so much to the Skeleton Crew. If you like what I do here and you want to support, go ahead and join our channel memberships. You get a bunch of cool shit. Speaking of which, thanks to these names right over here. Y'all are the best. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn on those notifications. And we'll see you next time. Thanks so much, y'all. Appreciate you.